toasted sandwich, tuna, garlic mushrooms, a little bit of onion, oregano, mozzarella cheese. Oh yes! Okay, let's have a look at what we've got here then. Mushrooms, I've got some white mushrooms, cut fairly thin, can of tuna, some mozzarella, which I've diced, as you can see, a little bit of onion, tiny amount of garlic, a little bit of oregano. We're gonna add some black pepper to this and just start it off. We're gonna just fry the onions and that off uh, in, on, on a pan with a little bit of olive oil, just a little touch, just gonna do that. Okay, I've got a tiny little pan here, a little bit of olive oil. Let's drop in that onion. And that little bit of garlic, like a clove of garlic. And some black pepper. Now, I'm not gonna add any salt because I think we've got enough salt from the cheese. But if you want, add some salt. Just as they do their thing. We're gonna drop in those mushrooms. Cook these for about three to four minutes. And it's done. I'll see you back at the table. So, mixing bowl, our tuna's there, that little bit of oregano, or a different herb if you want, maybe add a little bit of chili powder, and our diced mozzarella. Here's our beautiful garlic mushrooms there, with that onion, in that goes. Gonna give that a mix back in a moment. Okay, so that's job done there. Let's move on, get our bread together, get it in. It's gonna be beautiful. So you just saw me butter four pieces of bread there. I'm gonna make two sandwiches. Now what I do is I melt my butter and then I brush it on. And as you can see, we get a beautiful even coating, which gives us a nice crispy, even toasted sandwich. If you don't want to do that, just butter it with a knife, but just make sure you get as many edges as you can. So of course the buttered side is the outside. So let's just flip these two over. And then let's proceed and get in as much of this as we can. We want this to be nice and thick and hefty. And again, try and get it on all of the edges. I'm gonna use my hand now. Press it down, like I said, try and get every edge you can. This is looking absolutely fabulous. Okay, tops on then, so butter side up, butter side up. These are ready for the grill. Okay, so I've got one of these George Foreman type things, you know, kind of presses down that kind of affair, you know what I mean, don't you? I've got this on maximum heat, I've just turned it on. Let's place them on there. I'm gonna close this, give it a little press down. <clears throat> See in four minutes, mine's on max heat. You might wanna change your one, I mean, all, all different, aren't they? See in four minutes. Okay, let's jump in and have a look, shall we? Sounds good. Oh man, that looks incredible. That looks incredible. A little bit of spillage on the side. That usually picks up anyway. Oh man, look at those. Look at that. Woo! Okay, let's do the sound crisp test. Yeah. And that's why you want to get that butter. You know, you've got a lovely coat in there. Beautiful golden brown all over. That's why you want to get that butter on all the edges. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's have a go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Steaming hot. Look at that. Look at that. It's good enough to eat. 
absolutely wonderful hope you enjoy that don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you soon lots of love